Hi there, I'm Chuck Holton, and this is the Toxic Masculinity Minute, a lighthearted look at the topic of masculinity in today's whiny pajama boy world. So today we're gonna to talk about an astronaut named Buzz Aldrin. He's an American hero who graduated third in his class from West Point Military Academy in 1951. He flew 66 combat missions in the Korean War and shot down two MiG fighter aircraft. He's the recipient of the Air Force Distinguished Service Medal, the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Air Medal, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and has spent a total of 12 days, one hour, and 53 minutes in space. On July 20th, 1969, Aldrin became the second person in all of human history to set foot on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission. It's also a little known fact, he was the first person to take Christian communion on the moon and the first person to urinate on the moon. So there's that. <laughs> Back in 2002, Aldrin was confronted by a conspiracy theorist named Bart Cybrell on the steps of a hotel in Hollywood, California. Cybrell challenged Aldrin and claimed that the astronauts of the Apollo 11 were involved in a, an elaborate hoax and never in fact landed on the moon. After walking away from Cybrell several times and being followed, the doughy would-be journalist who once wrote a film script titled Real Men Cry made the mistake of calling Buzz Aldrin a liar and a coward. Probably not the best idea he ever had. Okay, well, you can put on your shoulder, don't be shy. Come with me, Buzz. You really like the picture, don't you? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black, if I ever thought of it. Saying I misrepresented myself. Get it away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Aldrin ended the argument the way men have done for literally thousands of years but especially in the era that Aldrin grew up in when men were men and treated each other as such. So while violence might not always be the answer, in this case, for an American hero, it was the best answer he could muster at the time, and who's gonna argue with a guy like that? For his part, Bart Cybrell was arrested in 2009 for jumping up and down on the hood of a car owned by a woman who happened to be occupying the parking space Cybrell thought he deserved. Nice, that's just so classy. All right, well, this has been your Toxic Masculinity Minute. Thanks for watching. I'm Chuck Holton.